He stayed in the Army and he was in a ground unit. He was a, an infantry man in an engineering unit. Um, we tried to interview him. He didn't really want to talk to us. But uh, I think he had uh, some hard feelings about what happened to him in the war. So, but he didn't, you know. Well, there were a few people that didn't want to talk, but surprisingly, most everybody we, we called wanted to talk to us. And uh, it was interesting to find out that, uh, you, you know, we all look at anybody who was in the Army as a, as a hero, you know. But Ben really was a hero to all these other guys that we interviewed. They, they stepped forward and all wanted to talk about him. That was very interesting to hear that, the, way, the kind way that they, that they talked about. Could almost feel that they they were very glad to have him in their unit. Yeah, to him he was. A, I think he was a good shot. You know, we asked Ben about you know how many planes you shot down that sort of thing. He didn't really talk about it, but other people, you know, made it clear he was uh, he was a good gunner, and I think he was an all around good guy. They all loved him, and you know, it's interesting to hear. You, you hear, you read things, and you know. They're making it up, but this case it really proved out. He really was, he was the guy I think that we portrayed in the film totally. We weren't. There was nothing that was uh, exaggerated in any form by any of these guys. I think it was all just the way it was. I guess it's surprising because sometimes you hear about stories and people inflate things to try to make them bigger. This one was what it, it really was. What we saw, I believe. I guess I can only tell you that um, it took so long to make this film because it didn't really take that long to shoot all the interviews. We kind of knew where we were going with it, but we uh, took it to Nebraska Public TV, which uh, saw it and they liked it and they sent it to PBS uh, primetime programming, a rough version of this. We didn't have all the shots in and we didn't have the narrator really uh, selected yet, but PBS National TV said, you know, uh, finish it up and we'll, we'll program it in prime time. And so that gave us a chance to actually try to raise some finishing funds to finish it. So it took another, that was in 2005, so by 2007 we had, we suddenly it, it sat around for six years trying to get it done and then Suddenly, in two years, we had to really jam it all in and try, try to figure out how to really cut it down to an hour and make it something that could run on TV. And it should run here and there again. It's got, uh, you know, they can run it for another few years. It showed up again last year as a fill-in replacement, I guess. Somebody told me they saw it running that the first day of the Republican convention was uh, that was uh, they had a hurricane, so they canceled the first day, so they shoved it in that day. So it ran; it's run twice already. How did he like it? I think he liked it okay. Um, he's totally amazed that he's gotten uh, this attention lately. He said the last five years have been really amazing years for him because. In Nebraska, a lot of the veterans there all got together and tried to uh, campaign to get him this uh, distinguished, distinguished service medal that we had at the back end of the film. Um, they uh, really wanted to do something for him. I think he's gotten a lot more attention in Nebraska than anywhere. I think on the West Coast, there isn't much interest in his story, I don't think, or as much which is interesting because he lives out there now. Any more questions? Well, thanks for coming out. Maybe Steve has some more comments here. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming. I'd like to remind you to, um, it would be really helpful for the History Center's programming, if you fill out the, the evaluation form and turn it in at the table out front. And again, thanks for coming. <laughs>